Hinato Moicano just embarrassed Benoit Saint Denis in front of his family and friends. Moicano absolutely decimated BSD in round 1. Insanely enough, Benoit came back to edge out round 2 before it was stopped. The referee waves off the contest between Moicano and Saint Denis after Saint Denis couldn't see out of his right eye. Renato Moicano was fired up after his win, and after the fight, he revealed he fought with a shoulder injury at UFC Paris. He then called out his longtime rival Paddy Pimblett, who wasted no time responding to accepting Renato Moicano's call out. In the co man event, Nasruddin Imavov stifles Brandon Allen's grappling for a unanimous decision win and calls out the champ Drikas Duplessis for the middleweight title. Drikas Duplessis, who already has better assignments, didn't respond to Imavov, but he did respond to Allen, mocking him for the loss. Allen also responds to the champ, showing his will that he still has the potential to reach the top and fuck the champ up. By the way, one of Drikas Duplessis' potential next assignments is Alex Pereira, who once again reassures us that he is moving down to fight DDP after UFC 307. And he also revealed that he would do boxing as well, and he will do that in the heavyweight division. Now it doesn't sound impossible, does it? Another important news from the card is that Brian Battle is set to receive a 250,000 fine and a lifetime ban from competing in France from the French Athletic Commission after finishing their French fighter and flipping off the fans like a real life supervillain. Now some fight announcements. Same faces, new date and place. Undefeated Mofs Arable will now meet former bantamweight champion Aljamain Sterling at UFC 310 in December. Cyril Khan vs Alexander Volkov also rebooked for UFC 310. Tom Aspinall says the winner of Alexander Volkov and Cyril Ghan 2 at UFC 310 should be his next fight if both John Jones and Stipe Miocic retire at UFC 309. Waldo Cortes Acosta is out of his fight against Chris Barnett and Barnett will now face Junior Tafa at UFC Vegas 98 on October 12th. Islam Makhachev has also been revealed to fight in January 2025 at UFC 311 per Khabib Nurmagomedov. Khabib revealed it at a recent press conference in Malaysia. Shavkar Rahmanov also says that preparations have begun for his upcoming fight. You know what, I think his upcoming fight is against Bilal Muhammad because Muhammad also talked about this topic recently, where he said that he eyes Shavkar Rahmanov over old Kamaru Usman for his first title defense, refreshing for the champion to ask for the toughest fights, most would try to take the easiest path. By the way, Bilal has his sights on the red panty night too. When Conor McGregor called him out, he didn't waste any time to accept the money fight. If you don't know, Bilal used to say that he won't fight Conor McGregor blah 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 and now the same thing we are hearing from featherweight champion Ilya Toporia. Ilya Toporia says he would not accept a fight against Conor McGregor if he was offered it and no longer consider him an idol. Toporia called out McGregor multiple times this year for a future fight and we all know that if Ilya was actually offered Conor McGregor, he would take it. By the way, Conor also clapped back with some casual trash talk like he can actually make 145 now. Diego Lopez also announced on Instagram that he will be the backup fighter for Ilya Taporia vs Max Holloway featherweight title fight at UFC 308 in Abu Dhabi. Former champion Alexander Volkanovsky also says his next fight is going to be for the title and he is waiting for what happens in Holloway vs Taporia. But he is also one among many who are hoping for the Conor fight as he said he is more excited by a potential Conor fight than Ilya or Max right now. Mirab Dawalis really revealed a DM from Sean O'Malley suggesting a rematch. He angles for an immediate rematch but O'Malley and Umar Nurmagomedov push back. Umar says that Mirab would fight anyone but him and O'Malley also pulls Mirab's leg by asking him to fight Umar Nurmagomedov. 
bro is clearly ducking Omar Magomedo just like he was being ducked by Sean O'Malley. And that's all for now. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the fight world. Now I'll see you tomorrow with next video so till then do whatever you want.